The next topic will show you the program to consume a service with post method. For this lesson, you are advised to refer to the classes as stated on the screen. The next example is invoking a service name at teacher using HTTP, which is done from REST client app. This service is a post method, and we need to send an object of JSON. For example here, we send a new teacher named Gilderoy Lockhart, and the service shall return a teacher's ID to the REST client. When the server receive this when the server receive this when the server receive this request, it will look for the declared mapping. When the server receive this request, when the server receive this request, it will look for the declared mapping in teacher service class and execute at teacher. This method returns a JSON object with a teacher ID. We shall look at the codes in REST client app to add, to add a new teacher. We want to manipulate our own object and pass it to the service provider. Here, we create a new object for a new teacher. This object will be sent to the provider and we will get an ID for the new teacher. The service that we want to invoke is POST and requires the object in JSON format. Here, we use an object from object mapper to pass our teacher object to JSON format using method name write value as string. This method returns stringified JSON object. Then we invoke the service using post method. Post method here works little different from get method in this sense, where in post method it expects the customer it uh, it expects the consumer to provide the stringified JSON object and the type of object. These are all done by calling a static method named entity from a class with the same name, which is entity. The service provider returns the response to us. We use read entity, which is a method to extract JSON object returns from the service and stringify the object. Then, using an object from mapper, from the mapper, from the object mapper, we map our JSON data to the teacher object. Then, we manipulate the object. For example here, we retrieve the teacher's ID that we get from the service provider. In the next demonstration, I'm going to show how can we implement post method for a web service and retrieve JSON data from the, from the service. So the method that we have seen just now is implemented here. So from the base URI, we add, add teacher at the, at the back creating the object and then uh, pass it into JSON format, execute it and display the teacher ID that we get from the service. So we are going to call 
this particular method from the main. So let's go to main. Uncomment this and close this comment. So when you want to run this application, make sure that the server is running. Okay, which is the REST provider here is running. Okay, let's run this application. Clear this and run. So the ID is assigned to this particular new teacher. So this is the ID that we retrieve from the application.